this question is about solving the circuit using MNA modified neural analysis with the supernode concept. We are to find the equations necessary to solve the circuit with MNA, but including only the equation for the supernode highlighted by the dashed uh, line there. If that voltage source will allow us to simplify the number of equations and reduce them by two. Let's see how this works. The reference node has already been highlighted down here and nodes 1 and 2 with the corresponding unknowns V1 and V2 have already been chosen. The super node's been highlighted with that gauss surface because the voltage here is the variable V2. The voltage on the far side of the voltage source is not a new unknown, that's a supernode concept. It is V2 plus the value of the source Vs2. That is a voltage here on this node on the side. This supernode has two nodes inside. We are ready. We we'll write one KCL equation for node 1 on the left. Currents are going in two, the one on the bottom, the one on the top. We, of course, we've chosen the directions of the currents arbitrarily with the exception of Ix, which is given the control current in this branch, the control current of the V source at the top. KCL1 currents going in, the one on the bottom, Vs1 minus V1 divided by the resistance in that RV branch, R, plus the current at the top, which is voltage of the origin, V2 plus Vs2, the voltage on the far side, minus V1 plus the value of the helping source Kix divided by the resistance in the RV branch R. And on the far side, leaving the node is Ix. That is KCL for node 1. Now the KCL for the super node, for the Gauss surface highlighted. How many branches arrive in that super node? Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So that KCL equation for the super node is going to have 5 terms. Two currents arrive, Ix and Is, so we have two terms on the left hand side, and the other three currents will appear on the right hand side of the equation. Fine, we know what to expect. Let's write them. Currents arriving, Ix plus Is equals two currents leaving the node, this one, V2 over R, plus the one on the far side on the right, which is V2 plus Vs2 divided by R and the current at the top that we've already described on the previous equation. And last, the CTL equation for the control variable Ix. That current is the current in an R branch, V1 minus V2 over R. Three equations, three unknowns, V1, V2, and Ix. We solve for them and we get V2, which is what the problem is asking us to find. If we substitute the variables of R, K, Vs1, Vs2, and Is, we obtain the final answer, the voltage V2, which is 2.4 volts. Thank you very much.